Hi, in this section we are going to learn what is e-content. E-content is defined as any digital content prepared in pedagogical framework consisting of text, images, graphics, animation, video, chart and many more and which can be used for education purposes. A big growth is expected in the education market. Now let us see what is the difference between e-learning that is learning through e-content and classroom teaching learning. Classroom teaching consists of one way learning path that is teacher is teaching and students are listening. Also the students have to go with the pace of the teachers. But in e-learning the student can pause at any time, do some assignments and again resume their learning. He may interact with the teacher through discussion forums as well as through blogs. Now let us see what is blended learning. Blended learning is the combination of e-learning and classroom teaching learning. Though classroom teaching learning we cannot eliminate but we give less emphasis of classroom teaching in blended learning. But in case of e-learning we give more emphasis because it is on demand learning and it is very interactive. Now while preparing e-content we have to follow some standards. There are four standards with us. First standard that is SCORM shareable content object reference model standard. Second standard is AICC which is aviation industry CVT committee standard. Third standard is IEEE IMS standard that is known as Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer Standards. Fourth one, Instructional Management System Global Learning Consortium Standard. The smallest part in e-content is known as an asset. Asset can be a single image, text, graphics or an animation. Next part is learning object which is the combination of assets in a pedagogical manner. Learning module is the combination of many learning objects consisting of self-test questions as well as assignments. When learning modules are combined in a pedagogical framework, it is known as learning unit. Finally, learning units are converted into a full course which is a longer period of teaching from 4 weeks to 6 months. Now while creating e-content there may be three ways of presentation. First one text dominance, second one speaker dominance and the third one is animation dominance. If you want to see any examples of some e-content you can visit NPTEL, NCTEL, Coursera, edX platform and many others. Now about the tools for e-content development. It can be divided into three main categories. First one freeware tools, second one open source software tools and the third one is proprietary software tools. In freeware tool you can get the software free but no source code is available with you. In open source software you can get the source code so that you can modify and reuse it. But in case of proprietary software tools we have to buy or purchase those tools from a company. In the next session I am going to tell about all these tools in details. Thank you.